Greetings, everyone, and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant, and this is the news from Kyungi Province this week. Kyungi Province Governor Lee Jae Myung announced that this year he will lead the administration with a primary focus on the improvement of the people's economy. This announcement was made during an annual administration policy briefing delivered to more than 200 senior officials from Kyungi provincial offices and organizations last week. Governor Lee stated that, having completed the establishment of the framework for his administration over the past six months, he would now focus on economic improvement for residents this year. 올해는 이제 작년에 만든 이 토대 위에서 우리가 만들었던 정책들을 무리 없이 집행하면 되는 거죠. 도민들의 그 경제적 삶 여기에 집중하려고 합니다. Expanding on his points, Governor Lee asserted that the administration should protect the fair market economy and eliminate inappropriate policies and regulations that inhibit economic fairness. He also asked officials to support social economy activities. 누군가가 입찰 많이 해가지고 돈을 많이 버는 것도 중요하지만 그것보다는 우리가 함께 잘 살게 하는 게 정말로 중요하다는 거예요. In addition, Governor Lee warned senior officials about possible reverse regional discrimination in the selection of feasibility study exclusion projects by the central government. Kyungi Province has applied for such exclusion for several railroad projects with the Presidential Committee for Balanced National Development. Regarding the Shinbundang subway line extension project, Governor Lee mentioned the disadvantages inflicted on local residents through the delay of project commencement as promised by the central government. Regarding the subway line 7 extension project, he referred to a lack of rail service in areas of Pochun City. Large ocean-going vessels are known to be a source of large amounts of microdust. In fact, the highest microdust concentrations in Kyungi Province are being observed at seaport areas. There is an urgent need for decisive measures to be taken to reduce microdust in these areas. A large cargo ship discharges thick black exhaust at Pyeongtaek port. While at berth, large vessels continue to operate their generators since they have to keep critical facilities running at all times. The low-quality fuel used by most of these vessels contains seven times more sulfur than the oil used in land. The amount of microdust emitted by a large vessel at port equates the amount emitted by thousands of trucks. 항상 배가 한 4대에서 5대가 되져, 되져 있고 또 어, 일반 그 화물선도 계속 드나들고 있는데 경유나 이런 걸 떼서 움직이는 배들이 많이 왔다 갔다 할 수, 할수록 상당히 좀 Pyeongtaek port was used by more than 3,000 ships last year. Last year, Gyeonggi province conducted pollutant emission inspections at 187 enterprise sites in an industrial complex in Pyeongtaek city and uncovered 42 violations. Despite multifaceted efforts, including such a crackdown, the air quality in the Pyeongtaek area did not improve. The primary reason is that there are no related regulations for ocean-going vessels. 약 3.8배 정도의 점검을 강화를 했습니다. 사업장에서 많이 개선도 하긴 했지만 주변에서 발생되는 그런 미세먼지를 점검하는 게 가장 중요하다고 봅니다. GTV examined the situation at the ports of Incheon and Busan. For the first time in Korea, an alternative maritime power or AMP system was installed at a berth at Incheon port reserved for a power plant that receives large coal-carrying vessels 180 times annually. By supplying electricity to the moored vessels as an alternative power to bunker oil or diesel, AMP systems can reduce air pollution by large vessels by up to 97 percent. 시민들에게 깨끗한 대기질을 제공하는 것이 우리 뭐 공공기관과 우리 모든 이 환경에 참여하는 사람들의 의무라고 생각하기 때문에 빨리 확산이 돼야 된다라고 생각을 합니다. The Korean government is currently pursuing the installation of AMP systems in Busan and Incheon ports. The installation of AMP systems at sea ports has been a legal requirement in the United States since the year 2000 and in the European Union since 2005.
The recently publicized case of a skating athlete being sexually abused by her coach has raised social concern regarding human rights violations in sports. Accordingly, Kangi Province plans to investigate all public team members in the province to see if there are other such incidents among them. The investigation will cover all registered athletes, including those with disabilities. This includes 4,674 athletes registered with Kyungi Province, as well as with cities and counties of the province. The investigation will be conducted via an online questionnaire or in person if necessary, so as to prevent causing secondary infliction. The sexual violence victims found will be provided with free legal services, while those who inflicted such violence will be dealt with through strict measures including permanent expulsion from the team. 경기도 체육계 인권 침해로 고통받는 피해자가 발생하지 않도록 적극적으로 대처해 나가도록 하겠습니다. Gyeonggi Province also plans to operate year-round education programs for different types of human rights violations for sports personnel including team managers and coaches as well as for athletes so as to prevent such violations. Following the Korean government's announcement of its plan for the nationwide introduction of regional vouchers as initiated by Gyeonggi Province, a forum was held on January 31st among related authorities and private organizations to discuss effective implementation of this alternative payment system. More than 100 representatives of Gyeonggi Province, the National Assembly, and the Korean government, as well as small business associations who attended the forum, sought ways in which to promote active use of regional vouchers. The attendees unanimously agreed upon the need for regional vouchers in the revival of backstreet commerce. 지역에 있는 그 소상공인 자영업자와 그 다음에 지역의 경제 선순환을 위해서 쓰이는 것인데 지역 경제 활성화 그 다음에 지역에 있는 수많은 세력과의 그 사회적인 연대 이런 것으로까지. The topics discussed during the forum included supporting environments and methods for effective use of regional vouchers. 이 소비자들도 써서 또 편하게 만들어주고 상인들도 그냥 현금처럼 편하게 받아올 수 있는 구조들을 만들어야 되는데 그게 교육이라는 게좀 필요하겠다. 한번 이제 카드 같은 걸로 등록을 하면은 동사무소를 또 추가적으로 방문할 필요 없이 그렇게 지급을 받을 수 있는 방법도 있지 않을까 하고. Also discussed were related topics such as a regional division range for voucher usage and additional benefits for voucher users. The issuance of regional vouchers is slated for the second half of this year in 116 regions of the nation. Kyunggi Province announced the launch of the monthly Independence Merit Pension for surviving individuals who strove for national freedom during the Japanese occupation. In 1944, Lee joined the Independence Army at the age of 21. In 1994, Lee received the Order of Merit for National Foundation for his service, which included military chest deliveries and the conciliation of student soldiers defecting from the Japanese Army. This pension will be provided separately from the National Patriot Benefit to eligible individuals who are living in the province. Payment will be made at a fixed amount of 1 million Korean won per month retroactively from September last year. The launch of this pension is based on a related ordinance amendment effectuated this past October. There are 35 such patriots alive today, of which nine live in Gyeonggi Province. The Gyeonggi Province Special Judicial Police recently staged a pre-Lunar New Year crackdown on illegal food trade and uncovered a large number of violations, including false identification of effective dates and countries of origin. 
At a food enterprise in Hwasong City, a whiteboard shows a list of numbers. In this company, inspectors found 1.5 tons of food products with effective dates falsely indicated as directed on the whiteboard. Another company used cheaper ingredients to replace those indicated on the product labels. This butcher shop also faked its beef products. During the crackdown, 76 businesses were apprehended for fraudulent indication of effective dates and countries of origin. Despite a week's prior notice of the crackdown, many violations were still committed without correction. Those apprehended were sent to criminal prosecution, while all affected food items were confiscated. During a meeting of the deputy heads of its 31 local administrations, Gyeonggi Province revealed its plan to utilize this year's budgets early and to compensate with increased revised supplementary budgets later. During this meeting, which took place on January 31st, Gyeonggi Province asked the local administrations for the early input of funds for job creation and social infrastructure projects. The province also asked local administrations to execute 55% of their annual budgets during the first half of the year through the operation of a task force for that purpose. Gyeonggi Province plans to increase the budget execution target for the first half of the year to 64.5%. During the meeting, local administrations also presented their requests to the provincial administration. Goyang City requested making land donations for Korea Land and Housing Corporation projects compulsory, while Bucheon City asked for support for the designation of area-wide districts, and Anyang City sought the resumption of national subsidies for child nursing facilities. The meeting was followed by presentations of exemplary local project cases. 예술이라든가 문화라든가 교육을 통해서 업사이클을 알렸다면 창조기업이라든가 산업을 일으키기 위한 그런 문화산업 크러스터를 조성하려고 합니다. During a successful project presentation, Anyang City's temporary operation of autonomous vehicles on existing roads attracted interest. This project involved the removal of regulations that limit autonomous vehicle testing on ordinary roads. After the meeting, the administrators visited a traditional market and enjoyed shopping with regional vouchers while experiencing consumer prices firsthand. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.